Hi guys, welcome back to Learning with JD. In today's quick tip session, we are going to look at what is the difference between assumption and constraint. Now assumption and constraint both lies in the entire life cycle of our project. We know that we live with the world that is based on some or the other level of assumptions that we have made and what are the constraints and how do we manage the assumption. Let's start with assumptions. What do you mean and what do you understand by the word assume or assumption? And let's see what is the difference. Assumption is something that you have created. You don't know whether that will happen or it will not happen. Nobody can be 100% sure. Nobody can 100% tell that whatever you have assumed will that occur or not occur. Let's take an example. For example, from your project perspective, you have a very important review after four days. Okay. Now that's a task for you, right? Now, what are you assuming around that? The data may not be ready or the data may be ready, but you are not ready with your presentation that you need to give to the management. The day you are traveling, assuming you are traveling from city A to city B, assuming the day you are traveling, it rains. The flights gets cancelled. It's an extremely important review for you. How are you going to manage that? These are all the assumptions. Now your assumption can be the data is not ready. Assumption can be you are not ready with the presentation. Assumption can be that the, it rains heavily and your flight gets cancelled. Now there are three assumptions that you've taken up for a task, which means that there is an important review that you need to do with your management. And assuming you are going to get certain budgets after that review, after the successful review happening. Now, what are you going to do of all these assumptions? Do you know that these assumptions will be, uh, will occur or not occur? You don't know. Possibility the data will be ready, possibility your presentation will be ready and possibility the flight will also not be delayed and you will reach there on time. But while you are planning for your project and planning for this particular task, you have to make sure that you take these considerations as well. Now let's come to the second part of it. Constraints. What do you mean by the word constraints? Constraint is something that is made by you, yourself, and you can manage it. Constraint is not a problem. Constraint is an answer to the problem. What will you do that you will ensure that for all the three assumptions that you have, you will have some level of constraint there. A. You know that if you are uh, worried that your data will not be ready, you will ensure that you will tell your team members that for the data which needs to be presented after four days, the data should be ready in next two days so that you have a buffer. That is a constraint. You have a constraint that you have to get the data by tomorrow EOD. The second thing in terms of the presentation that you have to prepare, what you will do is that you will try to prepare the presentation and finish it a day prior to your presentation that you need to give to the management. You will not keep it till the last moment. You will not keep it to the last day. That's the constraint that you will build for yourself. And the third and the most important thing that if it rains heavily and the flight gets cancelled, you will keep the flight a day before the presentation. You will not keep the last moment flight. You know that it, it depending upon the previous experiences, depending on know about the Weather forecast, the season, everything you know that at this point of time, usually the flights get delayed or cancelled. You will not have the last flight to catch for that meeting. You will ensure that you will create, you will book your tickets for a flight before that. So that is the constraint that you are creating for yourself. You know that you can manage it well and you keep it within your boundaries. So that is the basic difference between assumption and constraints. So guys, that is it for mine for today's session. I hope you like it. Ensure that you always document all your assumptions and constraints. Do like the video, subscribe to my channel, share it, drop me a comment if you have any queries and I'll surely come back to you. Till then, keep studying, keep learning, all the best.